times breathing in and out. Very good, very good. Push your arms up and down. Soft marching, warming up our legs. And now our arms in the front and we go circles. But while we are doing that, what I want to do is, I also want to do some of the yoga position. So for that, what I want to do is pay attention to me. What I want to do is make a balloon from your mouth, make a balloon like this, and blow it out as if you're blowing a candle. So while you're marching and doing your arms, please make sure you do the balloon and blowing it out. So we are rotating our arms, and we are making a balloon with our mouth and blow it out with our mouth. Again, balloon, do it on your own. So what we're doing is we are, we are stretching our skin, our face skin and making it look much younger. So now rotate your hands behind, keep on doing the balloon. Keep the balloon and keep on blowing the candle. Everything I do, I do with a reason. I try to combine yoga, cardio, everything. Very good. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. And now we are going to give a knee hug. So hug your knees. Knee hugs. Very good, nice, nice. Love your body. Two more. Last one. Very good. Now let's do side to side. This side to side, we're going into the big smile. So the smile, try to make a big, big smile from all, from your year to year smile. Very good, very good. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to do shoulder rolls. So for shoulder rolls, we are going to activate our hypothalamus gland. So touch all your tips of your fingers, touch your tips of all, of all your fingers and press it, press it, keep it here and give your shoulder a nice circle. One, two, three, four, five. Now reverse, keep this point going. Keep, we are high, activating our hormone. We are balancing our hormones by pressing it and we're going front. Very good, very good. Shoulder shrugs. Now, what I want to do is go in the front, bend, and come back up. So when you bend, no bending your knees, don't bend your knees, come back up. Then, so when you're bending, now, now what you do is pretend there's something little bit in the front and you need to go a little bit forward. Stay there for two counts. One, two, come back up. What we are doing is we are massaging and activating our lower back. So you want to have spondylitis and all that. So again, bend, send your glutes back, send your glutes back. Now, now try to reach that thing. In the, try to get that apple in the front. One, two, come on back up. One more time, reach down, arm straight. Now reach for that apple. One, two, come back up. Very good, very good. Now, our legs. So, touch your shin, touch your shin, and you have to come up. But to do that, we are going to also do is our chin exercise. The chin exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chin all the way inside. This is how it's gonna look. Stay there only and do your leg stretching. So again, trying to get two things done. So get your cheeks inside. 
and touch your shin. All I want you to do is touch your shin and stay there. Your cheeks are all the way inside. One, two, three, four, five. Come on up. Left side, cheeks are still inside. One, two, three, four, five. Come on up. One more time. Let go, let go of your cheek. Now, again, get your cheeks inside. And bend. Bend. And see if you can go tiny bit, little more. Touch, touch your shin. I want you to touch your shin. One, toes are facing up. One, two, three, four, five. Come on up. Left side. Turn around, shoulders facing this way. Going down. Cheeks are inside still. Toes are upwards and touching your shin. One, two, three, four, five. Come on up. Very good, very good. Today, we are going to do a lot more of the floor exercises and very few of the standing exercises. So, I really want you to concentrate. Give me your 100% for all the exercises. So, what we are going to do is we are going to go like this. Can you go like this? There you go. Now, going like this, we go in and out. In and out. Very good. See? Now, stop. Stop. Now, shake it here. And now, go from here. In and out. Faster. This we can do fast. Straight arms going in and out. Five more. Nice. Very nice. You don't even know that you're working your arms. Now, stop here right here. Again, same shaky shaky, but trying to touch your elbows and coming out. So, so in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. See, even if you have any problem, you can do this, right? In, out. Very important, every time, please make sure your elbows are touching. Very nice. Can you give me that? In, out, in, out. Nice. Good job. Five more. See, you guys think you're dancing, but I'm getting your... Fat, back fat. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. March, march. Now what we're going to do is we are going to tap with our heel. We're going to tap our heel, tap our heel. So let's tap our heel first. But quick one. One. Tap, 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 tap. So we got the leg. Now let's get the arms. Arms are going to be here. Fist, soft fist, and all I'm doing is rolling it. Roll, roll. Very good. Now, set your concentration and your focus on sucking up your belly. So, suck your belly in. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, stop. If you went like this, now let the other arm go. So we go the opposite way. This way. Okay? But with that, let's do a big balloon. See if we can hold the balloon and blow the balloon. If you can do the balloon, that's okay. So ready? We'll start with going, rolling it the opposite way. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Very good, very good. Give me a soft run. Everybody can do a soft run. Right? So now run on the side of your mat. Ready? And run. Go, go on your side of your mat. So what we're doing is we are working on our side hips. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very nice. Can you lift up one leg? When you go, I lift up my right leg. I lift up my left leg. Good. 
Let's do it a little faster. One, faster. Two, faster. Three, faster. Four, five. Come on, come on, come on. Don't give up on me. Last one, last one. Very good. Come back. Come back. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to tap our toes at the back and our arms come in the front. Remember we've done this? Do not bend your knees. Do not bend your arms. You just do it straight. We'll do a nice 20. So ready? Tap right back. Arms are in the front. Your bicep should be touching your ears. It should be only till there. One, two, three. Suck your stomach in. Four, five, six, seven. If you do not want to touch the mat, that's okay. Eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, very good. Good job, good job. Now, legs are hip width apart. Lean forward. Arms are coming forward. Remember we did this stretch? Now arms are coming forward. Now pretend there's an apple over there. So this is your position. And no, you do not move from here and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, ten. So arms straight, do not bend. And go in one motion. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back up. Slowly come back up. Take your hand, your thumb under your chin, and let's do a neck. Neck roll up, push it up, come back down. Up, front, three, front, four, front, five, front, six, front, seven, front, eight, front, nine, Front. Now on 10, stay up there, stay up there. Now kiss the sky, let go of the thumb. Let go of the thumb and kiss the sky. Give nice kisses, give 10 kisses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good, very good. You will feel a stretch over here, do not overdo it, but you definitely will start seeing your jawline. So now, what we're going to do is quickly we do our inner thighs. So hands over here, find your spot to gaze, cross your legs and one, two, such your stomach in, three, four, straight line as if there is a string attached and someone is lifting up the string, lifting up the string. See? Last five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back, come back and sideways. One, two, bend your left, bend your left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back. Let's do the left side. Lift up one. Two, three, four, stomach in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, one, sideways. Ready? One, two, three, bend your right knee, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, very good, very good. Let's take a deep breath in. So connect your heels together. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. When you blow it out, I want to say, I want you to say, ha, ah, ha, ah. very good. Let's do it. Take a deep breath in. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Again, one more time, release all your stress, okay? Deep breath in. Ah. Ah. Very good. Now, meet me on the floor. We are going to do 
lot more. Wait, don't make me on the floor. Sorry. We need to do. We need to do a uh, warrior. So we are going to do. We're going to do. Meet me for the warrior. For the warrior, first let's do a chair pose. So pretend there is a chair behind you. So you are going to sit down on the chair. So you are sitting on the chair, and your arms are like this. This is called a chair pose. So stay on the chair pose. And I'm going to do the count. So remember, remember, glutes at the back, glutes go back. As soon as the glutes go back, then only only that much knee will go back. Do not have to go all the way there. Only that much knee will go back. And arms are straight. Try to touch the bicep to your ears. This is and lift up your toes if possible. Please lift up your toes. And I'm going to start counting. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? I see someone. Few people are struggling. Glute back, glute back. If you are struggling, that means your glutes are not back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up, come up. Now we are going to do a warrior pose. You all know the warrior pose, right leg front, left leg flat. Can you see my leg? Can you show my leg? Left leg is flat, right leg is in front, and the right knee bends. So if you see it, it's going to look like this. And then your arms are going straight, and you're looking at your ring finger. Back leg is straight and my feet is sideways and I'm looking straight. Stay there. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Now bring your right hand up. See how my right hand is going and my left hand is touching my left calf. And pull that, pull the right arm up, looking up. One, two, three, four, five, come back down, straight. Are you guys getting it? Looks like it. One, two, three, four, five. Warrior pose number two, going up. One, two, three, four, five. Come on back. Now, we will do it on the other side. So now my left knee is bent and my right leg is flat. So, and my arms are straight. Now I'm going to move in the front and I'm going to stand. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand goes up and right hand is trying to touch the right knee. One, two, three, four, five. Come on back. One, two, three, four, five. Come on up. One, two, three, four, five. And come back. Very good. Very good. Now, we are also going to do downward dog, only downward dog of Surya Namaskar. So everybody on the side, on the side, hands are straight. And come down, come down towards your toes. And now start walking your hands. One, two, three, four, you're in the plank. And now go on the downward dog like this. If your heel doesn't touch, it's okay. And your head is between your both the biceps. So you are here. Stay there for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. And then come back to the plank. Go straight. And now come back again to downward dog. Now when you're in the downward dog, bend a little bit of your right leg. Then bend your right knee. Right, left, bend your knees as if you're marching. 
As if you're marching. Very good. Very good. Good job. You get it. Now, five counts. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Come back in the front. Come back in the front. Plank. And now go back again. Go back again. And march your legs. One, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then let it go. And meet me on the floor. Now meet me on the floor. First exercise on the floor is going to be called fire hydrant. We have done this many, many times. So you are on all your four. So you are here on all your four. Can you see me well? Now, first let's do our cat and cow stretch. So let's do our inhale cow and exhale cat. So inhale cow is your spine going up and your head goes down. And exhale, you look, belly goes down, your head goes up and that is called, that is called cat. Now inhale cow, Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Very good, very good. Now we're gonna do fire hydrants. So how are we gonna do fire hydrants? We are still on our four, on our four. And all I'm doing is, Lifting up my right leg, up and coming back. As if a dog, a dog goes for the bathroom, right? So dog is peeing, so lift it up. Or you can call this fire hydrant. So let's do about 15 of that. Ready everybody? Ready, spine, make sure your spine is flat. If someone wants to put a teacup, they can easily put a teacup. So ready, lift up right. One, two, Three full moment, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I forgot four. So one, two, three, four, five, and one more. Six. Very good. Now stay up there. Stay up there and give me ten pulses. Small pulses. One. Looking straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now stay up there. Do, don't do anything. Just stay there. That's all I want is stay there. Let it burn. Let it burn. This is very, very good for whoever has knee problems, whoever wants to lose inner thigh, outer thigh, tighten up the glutes, every, all of the above. One, two, three, four. Five, slowly bring it down. Very good, very good. Now, let's do it on the other side. We'll keep on today switching. Now, we're going to do it on the left side. Ready? Full. One. Are you ready, guys? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, and one. Now come on up and pulse it. Ten, fifteen, one, two, no, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold it up, hold it up, let it burn. You know, this is the time when it really burns. So do not give up, do not give up that position. The first set we do is, is just warming up. It's the second and the third set when you see results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't move, don't move, stay there, stay there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back, come back. Now go back again this way on your right hand side. And now we're gonna do donkey kicks. What are donkey kicks? 
we go up and we push it. So my leg is flat and I'm going to push it. Imagine you're in, a, you're in a bunker and you have to push it, push the door up to get out. So let's push it. One, come all the way down. Two, so let the muscle get warmed up. So keep, make sure you do a full rotation. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. And now stay up there, stay up there and give me 20 pushes. Okay, flat leg and 20 pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up there, hold it there, hold it for 10 counts. Come on, then only you will see the change. Thank you for holding it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back in. Let's do the next side. Ready? Full rotation. One, two, three. This will really help your glutes to go smaller. And very good to strengthen your hips for your knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Five more. Five. See how I'm going up. See my leg going up. I'm not going this way. So it's straight. If your shoulders are straight, you will automatically go straight. Three, two, one. And now stay up there. Legs are, see, see if your position is right. And your feet is flat and give me 20. One, two, three, four. Don't give up. Please don't give up. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, last nine. That's it, that's it. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Stay up there for 10 counts. Just don't move. Don't move. That's it. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up. I promise you, you will see a result. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back. Guys, this is my fourth class today. If I can do four classes, please give at least do one class with me today. Okay. Now, what do we have? Take a break. Let's lie on our sides. Will that make you happy? No pain, no gain. So, and we're gonna do nice lift up and come down. As if somebody has tied a string, toes are pointed and we come down. Two, three, try not to bend your knees if you, can, if you don't. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. That's it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Very good. Wow. Now, bring your leg here and let's do our inner thigh. Let's go quickly to our inner thigh. Ready? One. If this, you cannot do this, put it at the back. But make sure you give me a nice inner thigh. Flat feet and nice inner thigh. But facing in the front. Do not go like this. Do not go sideways. Put your hand here so that forces you to come in the front. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now stay up there, stay up there, stay up there and give me 10 ones. This is when you see a change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stay up there, high, little higher, one more inch higher. Don't do anything. I don't want you to do anything. Just stay there. And don't think about it. 
Don't even think about that your leg is up there. I will do the counting in my mind and I'll tell you when to go. If that bothers you, I won't even count. Ready? You're almost there and let it go. Very good, very good. Knees bend, knees bend, and let's open it up. One, two, three. Are your knees bent together? Your knees are bent and in the front? Three, four, five. If you're going sideways, make sure you're in the front. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay up there. Stay up there and give me tiny pushes. One, two, three, four. Your legs are going to get slimmer. Your butt is going to get slimmer. And you're going to be a happy, happy person. Last five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready? Straight legs. Ready? Is everybody ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Like in the front, I'm very excited to share you a lot of information on meditation. So I'm in a happy place. Now legs, feet is flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Full, full rotation, okay? Eight, nine. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stay up there. Stay up there. I'm doing ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now don't do anything. Just stay up there only. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly let it go. Let it go. Now bend your knees. And let's do a lift up. Make sure your both your feet are connected. Do not let go of the feet. Both the heels are touching to each other and lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two. One, now stay up there and give me small 15 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feel it, feel it in your glutes, feel it in your quads, feel it in your abs. Last five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. Very good, very good. Now, let's do our Chakki Asan and our Nokasan. So sit up straight, both the toes are connected. And first, let's do no cousin. So for no cousin, the rowing. So my row is going to go down and then I'm coming up, right? So we are scraping the mat and then coming up. Ready? One, two, so see, come up like this. Very good, Rupal. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. Now, the other way. So I'm going, my row is going to go like this. I'm just going to scrape it and I'm going to come up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now, no cousin. 
So both the hands together. I'm going to start this time with my left side. So turn around to the left. My, my, both the toes are connected. My heel is connected. My spine is straight. And let's go. Chakki Asan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Spine is straight. Moving towards the right side. And let's go. One, little more back. Two, three, four, five, six. We can continue. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, very good. Good job. Now, you give me quick butterflies. All my thyroid, PCO, and whoever has hip problems want to strengthen your hips. So this time today, we've been doing butterfly for a long time. So you are all comfortable, right? So now look at your heels. Look at your heels and hold your thumb, hold your toes, and push it inside. Push a tiny bit inside. As soon as you push, your spine will go straight. Now start doing it. See? Now see how, how much more flexible you've got? It is all you're doing. You are your own, right? So see, what a big difference. One, two, three, four. Whoever, whoever legs are like this, see if you can go tiny bit low, tiny bit flat. Yes, Charu. I'm talking to you, Charu. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and hold it, hold it, hold it. Now there's an apple right there, and you have to grab it. Grab the apple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and slowly come back up. Very good, very good. Now, what I want you to do is take a deep breath in, and you blow it out. I want you to hear, do a big ha. Ah, okay, so ready? Deep breath in. Ha. Ah. Again, deep breath in. Ha. Ah. These are very few times where we blow it out through our mouth. Usually, blowing out is also through our nose. I'm going to come closer to you because it's that time of the week where you get a big lecture from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, just kidding. So <clears throat> I'm studying a little I'm studying a little more on meditation. We're all doing meditation. Of course, we are none of us are a guru. Whatever I learn, I pass it on. So we're all together in that same chain. Basically. I'll be very quick also because we've got to do our pranayam. There are five things. Can everybody hear me well? Thumbs up. Very clear. So for five minutes, give me your 100% concentration. Don't do anything. Don't ask your brain not to think and just to listen. Okay. There are five things we need to know for meditation. First thing is preparation. We've got to prepare our mind and our body to get ready for meditation. Preparation means, let's say if you have a guest in your house, what are you going to do? You're going to prepare. You're going to prepare food. You're going to take your best china out. You're going to clean up the house. So what is all that? Preparation. The same way for meditation or for any kind of exercise, when you do it with me, prepare your mind that I'm getting ready for my workout. I am going to get ready for my exercise. Second one is for meditation is to understand your mind. Only you know how your mind works. Only you know how much your mind has attention value span and how far, far away it, you lose your attention. So you need to understand your mind and slowly, slowly we train our mind. 
third thing is clear systematic step by step everything has to be done step by step right for example when we do our meditation first thing what do we do first we do all the pranayamas so with that breathing in and out of for the pranayama is the step slowly preparing us to get into the zone into our meditation the, then we do the om right so what is happening after the pranayama when we do om we calm ourselves down and now we are slowly that om part is a kick kicker right to get into our deep meditation i will give you an example let's see if you are wearing a shoes right what will you wear first step 1 socks step 2 shoes step 3 tying the shoelaces can you do tying your shoelaces then you wear your socks and then you wear your shoes does it work like that no everything has a step by step the reason i'm explaining all this today is from now on whenever we get into our pranayama let's start getting into it that remember that okay this is my step train your mind then comes what is your goal for meditation why are you doing meditation why are you doing for positiveness are you doing it to get rid of your negativeness are you doing to be happy or are you doing just to keep up with the jones so you need to have a goal once you have that goal do not let the goal the goals cannot change every time you do meditation stick to the same goal that you know what i'm getting a lot of negative thoughts so my concentration is for my meditation is i do not want to have any negative thought or you know what i'm i'm think i'm sinking i'm going into depression so my concentration is that no i'm going to uplift myself whatever your goal is let's prepare in your mind today think about it don't start today think about it so on monday everybody should be having one goal in their mind and from that goal we will start going pursuing towards that goal the last thing is concentration if you have no concentration we cannot meditate so today i'm going to focus and talk a little more on this concentration so let's say for example you're working in an office and now you are going to head a meeting so all your staff comes in you have an agenda and you are going to start talking about the agenda of the meeting am i right what is your focus is talking about the points you have for your agenda you are not going to sit there and talk hey how was the weather you know which movie did you see did you try this restaurant no when you enter that meeting room you are only going to talk about your agenda once that agenda is done all the staff goes back to work the same way when you enter into your meditation your concentration has to be just on that meditation to not let your concentration wander what has happened with all of us is i am the biggest culprit also i have zero concentration zero concentration i'm watching tv and i have my phone and i'm playing scrabble so where is my concentration i do not give 100% in my watching my tv when i'm cooking i have my tv on so that's not my 100% so if i'm not if all of us do that so the goal is if somebody comes and is talking to you drop everything try it give 100% concentration of listening to them give 100% concentration on when you eat give 100% concentration on spending family time when you're with your family everything you do start doing with concentration and do not do multitasking we all are multitasker so that's why we are jack of all and master of none we will never be able to master meditation never be able to do anything if we do not have concentration so even if you're brushing your teeth concentrate on brushing and see the difference try to see a little changes in your life that's all i have to share for today and for today our meditation is going to be with 100% concentration
For that, our step is to do pranayam. Ready, everybody? Thank you for bearing with me and listening to my lecture, my junk. I'm sorry. Yes. Ready, everybody? We will start with Nadi Shuddhi and then Ujjayi breath. Nadi Shuddhi is holding your left nostril. Can you bring me a little closer? Holding your left nostril and we deep breath in and out only with the right. So only with the right, deep breath in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out. Charu, cross your leg. Charu, uncross your leg. In, out, in, out. Three more. In, out, in, out, in, out. Last one, in, out. Very nice. As I said, we are doing step by step. So please try to listen to your breath, left nostril. You try to listen to your breath. I won't count this 10. I will count only the last five. So do 10 breaths. Ready? In. Last five, last four, last three, last two, and last one. Slowly let go. And for Ujjayi breath, prepare yourself. Your thumb goes underneath your armpit, hands. And once we do a breathing, mouth close, and we breathe from the base of our throat. Ready, everybody? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now, start mouth closed, base of your throat, Ujjayi breath. Make the sound. One, two, three, four. Hold. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold two. Now I'm going to. I think some of them are new, so I'm going to make the sound, and I'll sh I'll show it. Your sound sound should come from the base of your throat, Punita Ben. Ready? Deep breath in from your base of your throat. Hold two, three, four. Exhale from the mouth from the base. Hold, two, deep breath in. Put it up in. If you cannot get it, I'll explain it to you later. Two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two. Three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, last time, inhale, two, Three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, slowly come back. And now we start with our Bastrika, soft fist, and we breathe in and concentrating on breathing out and pulling it with a force. So you're not concentrating on inhale, only the exhale. And when I say do fast, do fast. But if you feel lightheaded, if you feel dizzy, please do not do it faster. 
Okay, we are releasing all the pranas. So normal breath, deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the nose. And ready, deep breath in, go. Faster. Faster, faster. And let it go. Both the arms open on your knees. Eyes closed. Feel all the pranas. Do not need to open your eyes. Ready for the second set, soft fist. Eyes are closed. Normal deep breath in and out. Ready, deep breath in and go. Faster. Enjoy the feelings of the pranas. And now we start with Kapalbhati. Kapalbhati, we're going to do Surya Mudra, which is um, the ring finger and the thumb. Thumb is pressing the ring finger. So we are activating the Surya Mudra. And Punita Ben, the Surya Mudra helps us to lose weight. So whenever you're watching TV, sit like this, and it will help us for digestion. It will help us for our cholesterol, for your diabetes. So we are trying to do two things at the same time. Activating our mudras and ready for Kapalbhati. Deep breath in and we are breathing out through our stomach going in and out. Spine is straight. Having a beautiful smile. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Ready? Go. Last five, four, three, two, one, and slowly deep breath in, deep breath out. Your head goes down and your chin is touching your chest. No more breathing in and out. Hold your breath. Squeeze your stomach in. And now squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes and all your focus squeezing the glutes. Please do not breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready for the second set? Eyes close. Normal deep breath in and out. Ready? Go deep breath in. Last five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in. Breathe out with your chin touching the chest. No more breathing in and out. Navel touching the spine. Squeeze those glutes. Just to let you know, we have done um, Bastrika. We have reached to about 75. And this one we have reached to 70. Now slowly release and come back. And now 
we do agni sar agni sar punita ben it really really helps you with speeding up your metabolism so everybody needs that so hands on the elbow lean little bit in the front deep breath in and no more breathing in and out only the stomach goes in and out ready leaning front deep breath in go no more making sound only the stomach going in and out very good sanjay's ipad sunanda excellent excellent last four three two and one slowly come back <clears throat> one more time deep breath in and hold your breath ready leaning forward deep breath in hold your breath and go last five four three two one we did 50 agni sar come back now we start with our anulom vilom for anulom vilom everybody do one more prana mudra the prana mudra we will do is the ring tip of the ring finger tip of your th pinky finger and your thumb with only one hand your right hand probably or left whatever you want press it press make sure the tip is ignited so press it and then we bring it like this and hold your left nostril what is how is anulom vilom helping us anulom vilom increases the oxygen level it gets rid of our fatigueness and when you are fasting it helps you to stay hungry for a longer time how is the prana mudra helping you the prana mudra is helping you it gives you energy it improves our eyesight also there's a lot more benefit ready deep breath in in from your right lock both the nostrils exhale left inhale right lock both the nostrils long exhale right inhale right long exhale left inhale left long exhale right inhale right long exhale left inhale left long long exhale right inhale right long exhale left inhale left long exhale right inhale right long exhale left inhale left long exhale right inhale right long exhale left inhale left long exhale right inhale right lock two more exhale left inhale left lock exhale right inhale right lock concentrate left inhale left full concentration lock exhale right inhale right lock last time exhale left inhale left lock exhale right inhale right and let go of the very nice So let's start with our lion we are almost finishing on time i'm excited that i could get lot more done today 
with you guys. Lion pose. We breathe in and we look up when we breathe out and our eyes especially looks up to the ceiling and our tongue sticks out and we do a roaring sound. Ready? Deep breath in. Second time, tongue should come out a little more and I should roll a little more up. Ready? Deep breath in. Okay. We come to Brahmi. Brahmi sends us all the happy mood. Our mood changes, sends us happy feelings. So let's do Brahmi. Close your earlobes. Cover your eyes. Deep breath in and making a humming bee buzzing sound. Ready? Deep breath in. Mm. Get ready to do Brahmi second time and then we will go into three times Om. Very important thing I forgot to mention to you. It is very, very important when you do Pranayama, you have to drink so much of water. You want to see results because what we have done is we are working on our internal organ. So the internal organ to go in and out, it needs oxygen, it needs hydration. So that way the organs get back to balance. So please make sure you drink a lot of water. Ready? Brahmi, second time, cover your eyes, deep breath in. Mm. Slowly let go and come on into your Dhyan Mudra on your knees. Eyes are closed and we say Om three times. Deep breath in. Oh. Deep breath in. Oh. Last time, give me your hundred percent. Concentrate on listening to your own on with your own ears and get ready to get into the zone of meditation. Deep breath in. close, spine straight, breathing just how it be, should be, but when things don't go our way, we call it a problem.
me. Who is to blame? Will it ever get resolved? These negative thoughts deplete our energy. Save your energy. You need this energy to face the situation. Sit back and visualize shifting your energies from the problem to the solution. I am a wise being. I understand the situation is not the way I want it. The situation is the way it was meant to be. This was meant to happen this way. I have faith in myself. In my ability to cross this scene with dignity. I accept the present scene. I focus on where to take it next. I look at the scene as an observer. I focus on my best response in the present scene. An ethically right response. A response which is healthy for my mind. Healthy for my body. Right for my people. I shift from the situation to the solution. Everything is in control. I influence the situation with my stability and focus. Repeat this affirmation three times and visualize yourself calm and in control of yourself and of the situation. Pause during the day and repeat. I am stable. I am in charge of the situation. Situation is the best it can be. Slowly, slowly, get both your hands into a namaste position. And this time, cross your fingers across each other. And then start rubbing with like this, crossing it. Fingers are crossed and you start rubbing it. So we are activating all the nerves which is on, in our hand. Rub it hard. Create, it will generate heat right away. And then put it over your eyelids, all over your face and your body. And please thank your body. Thank your legs. Thank your knees for letting you do workout. And slowly open your eyes with a big smile. And namaste. I know I had promised you a Bollywood dance, but I promise you on Monday. We will definitely do a Bollywood dance on Monday. Thank you all for thank joining. You, thank, thank you, Preeti. Thank you, you very Preeti. Much. Thank you, thank you. It was a wonderful class. Thank you. But I don't understand that breathing. Remember over here? I will explain it to you. 
I will I will personally call you and tea. Okay. Okay. Recording. Thank you, Preeti. Bye. Thank you, Preeti ji. Thank you. Thank you very much. All coming.